cubes. 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 Hello, welcome. Surely, if you clicked on this video with cubed numbers in the thumbnail and the title, then we are kindred spirits. So thank you for choosing this video. Let's get on with our journey. Why am I making this video? Well, there are a few reasons. The first is that I think that cube numbers are pretty cool. The second is that I recently turned a cube number, 27. But what is a cube number? Welcome to my cube. Let's talk about cube numbers. A cube number is a number that can be fit into a cube where each side is the same whole number. We could also describe it as a number that results when you take a whole number and multiply it by itself, then by itself again. A square number is a number multiplied by itself then to make the cube, you multiply the square by the original number, making a cube. You can find the cubed root of any number, but only cube numbers will result in a whole number cubed root. Otherwise, you get non-integers or numbers that aren't whole. Numbers, they have parts less than one in them. One is a cube number. If you take one times one times one, you still get one. The next cube number will be eight because two times two makes a square of four. Take two of those squares and you get eight. The next one is three cubed or three times three times three. Three times three th makes a square of nine and three of those makes 27. My age this year. I do sometimes wonder about the progression of life. <laughs> you know, the things that we do. If I took the things that happened to me and the things that I've done between cube numbers, well, I'm not really sure what to think. When I was eight, I was in primary school, I was in year two, and now at 27, the next cube number, I am an adult, I've been to university, I have a full-time job, I'm married, I make YouTube videos about things in which I find uh, you know, interesting. A lot has changed. With anything in maths, mathematicians like to see what they can do and see what they can prove. The mathematician, Waring, conjectured, and I'm simplifying here, that any integer or whole number can be made with the sum of no more than nine cubed numbers. We can test it out and bear in mind that we can have negative cubed numbers because a negative times a negative times a negative is a uh, well, negative. Anyway, when I am writing and recording this video, That's Pretty Cool has 785 subscribers. I'm hoping by the time you see this, that number has gone up. Can we make this using nine cubes or less? Well, sure we can. Seven cubed is 343. 343 plus 343 is 686. Plus five cubed or 125 is 811. And that's just three cubes. We have lots to work with here. I need to sum, use some negatives now. So, well, negative three cubed will be negative 27. So if I add negative 27, I'm actually subtracting 27, leaving me with 784. Then I just need to add one. One cubed is one. And so uh, to, I get, that gets me to 785. And in five cubes, I've made it. There are other cubes that I could use to get to 785, but this is just one of those ways. And I could do this for any whole number. Why? Why is this important? I'm not really sure. I just think that it's cool to work with numbers. You know, when I get to my next cubed birthday, if all goes to plan, it'll be four cubed or 64. That's in 37 years, more than what I've already been alive for. Cube numbers grow exponentially. The gap between them gets bigger, the bigger the base number gets. But I don't know if the rate of growth and change in life remains constant over time. I, I don't know if it's linear, and I certainly don't think it's exponential. I don't expect it's normal for someone to do as much growth and change between their eighth and 27th birthday as they will between their 27th and 64th birthdays, or maybe they do, I don't know. I've not been 27 for long. I am learning, but I think that I'm, you know, not feeling too worried about it. I might not be making the same amount of progress as someone does between eight and 27 
in terms of significant life changes, but that does not mean that life is worth living less. What was the point of this video? Was it to give you a brief overview of cube numbers, show you some things we can do with them, voice my very brief existential thoughts about aging? I, I don't know, I suppose it, it's good to make the most of the time that we have and to look for opportunities to do cool things and appreciate beauty. I think that there's beauty in cube numbers. I can't explain why, I just think they're cool. That might be a stretch for this video, but um, I wanted to try something a little bit different and we've done that today. Bit of a different one for today. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. And if you have a suggestion of something you think is cool in an equal or greater amount, well, please feel free to suggest it. And while you're in the comments suggesting things, please consider subscribing to That's Pretty Cool for more videos where I delve into topics that capture my sense of curiosity and wonder. I'll leave it there for today though. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, stay curious, and I will see you next time.